What's up everybody, Gamer for Life here, and today I'm going to be continuing on, on my tutorial series where I show you how to make a Minecraft hack client. In this video, we're going to be setting up the modular system so we can actually start making mods, and I will be doing, I will start making mods at the end of this video, and I'll show the code and everything so you guys can follow along. Alright, so to get started, let's go over to Client, Source, so you should see these four packages if you set it up right. We're gonna right click on source, new, and we're gonna make a new package. Name it me dot whatever your gamer tag is or like whatever your Minecraft name is. You don't have to, but this is how I like to do it. So I'm gonna do gamer boy for life. And then I'm gonna do the name of the client. So once we have that, we're gonna right click, make a new class inside of that package, name it whatever your client name is. So mine's gonna be paradox. I keep typing parafox. Okay, now we're going to right click on our, our package and make a new package inside of it named module. Alright, so Paradox, we're not going to actually mess with that class for a second. What we're going to do is go to modular, make a new class named module. We're going to make another class in there called module manager. And we're going to make a new enum named category. So we're going to start out with the enum so in category just enable caps locks and this is so this is our category enum what this is going to do is give us categories of our mods so we can have like combat mods player mods um movement mods so let's just put in whatever we want so i'm going to do combat movement mm, player render and miscellaneous mods that's what I'm gonna do. So once you're done, just press Control S to save it and then exit out of category. Now we're gonna set up module because this, this is the next class we actually need to set up. So we're gonna do protected Minecraft MC equals Minecraft dot get Minecraft. So what that's gonna do later on when we're coding uh, instead of having to type out minecraft.get minecraft like right here All we have to do is MC. It just makes it easier when we're typing long mods Now we're gonna make a private string Named name So it's gonna be called name. We're also gonna private int key We're gonna create a private boolean named toggled and we're gonna initiate our category enum just like that. The first one has to be capitalized, second one's lowercase. All right, now we're gonna go down and do public module. So we're actually gonna start coding the class. We're gonna do string nm int k and then category we're gonna set the c. So in this function we're gonna do name equals nm key equals k category equals c and then toggled equals false all right now we're going to come down here we're going to right click source generate getters and setters we're going to click on every one except category for now so that would generate that so we don't actually have to code it but we're going to come back up here we're going to do public void toggle we're going to make a toggle function so it's going to toggled equals not toggled. If toggled, it's going to on enable. So it's going to basically going to enable. And if it gets toggled again, we're going to make it so it disables. So as you can see, these are underlined in red. So there's actually no method for them. So we actually got to make those methods real quick, which is really easy. We're just going to do public void on enable Like so then public void on disable Public void on update and public void on render So now that we have the module class done we don't need it anymore we're going to go into paradox and in here we're going to let's see what do i want to do first i guess we'll do the string first so we're going to do a public static string called name 
and this one is gonna equal whatever your name is. So I'll do Game Roy for life. Let's put a comma. Then we're gonna make one called version, and that will equal 1.8.8, or you can do like build one, whatever for the version you want. I'm just gonna do 1.8.8. I'll do build one right after. So they know it's the first build. Then we're gonna do creator equals, oh, sorry. Actually, creator is where you're gonna put your name. I just had a brain fart. The name is going to be the name of your client. My bad. All right. So now we're gonna come down a little bit. We're gonna do public static module manager as module. Or how do I want to? Do? Yeah, we'll just do module manager, why not? Like that, and then we're gonna import our module manager. Now we're gonna come down and do a public void called start client. And then here is where the client actually starts, and this is the method we're gonna be used to hook it into the Minecraft code, so it will actually run our client. So in here, first we're gonna do display.set set title let's do name plus empty space empty quotation marks plus version plus by plus creator you'll see why we did that later on i'm actually going to move this to the bottom of the method because we got to have it at the bottom for what we're doing later on now in here we're going to do module manager equals new module manager. That'll actually start the module manager when we go to do it. All right, but now we actually do have to set up the actual module manager now. So give me one sec. I'm just checking my other client. I am going to be referencing my phantom client for a lot of this code because it is a lot of code to remember. So right here, inside of module manager, we're gonna make a private static array list. Oh, we're gonna label that one module. It's gonna be called mods. So let's import the array list utility. Now we're gonna do public module manager. So we're gonna make the class. And here we're gonna do mods equal a new array list for module. And we gotta put parentheses, all right. Now, I, I just like to organize my code, so I'm gonna put in some comments here, just so I know where to put the mods when we actually add them. So movement, player, render, crap, and miss, all right. Anyways, continuing on, we actually need a way to add mods onto it. So we're gonna do a public void new mod, and this is gonna be for module M, and we're gonna do mods dot add mods dot add m sorry now we're gonna do a public static array list module and this is just gonna be get modules basically what this will do is when we require something that requires us to pull all the modules that are activated that will do it all right now after that, we need to initiate our on update, on render, and on key press functions we made earlier. So we're gonna do public static void on update for module m mods m dot on update. We're gonna do the same thing for on render. So static void on renderer for, I just enabled caps locks, for module m mods m dot on render. Now this last one we're gonna do is a little bit different. So we're gonna again do a public static void on a key and we're in here we're gonna initiate k. So now it's gonna be for module m mods if m dot get key equals k then m dot toggle all right so that's gonna be it for setting it up now we just actually have to add the hooks into the minecraft code so just scrolling through my client really quickly because this like i said it is a lot to remember all right 
first we're gonna open up the Minecraft Java class. And here we're gonna look for N game GUI. Just oh I passed it. We're just gonna keep pressing it. Oh I keep oh okay, sorry guys. I keep passing it. Uh right here until you find this. So in your line 561. In here we're gonna do slash slash paradox parafox. Oh my lord. Paradox just so we can actually keep a hold of where our code is. Whenever you're inside the Minecraft code, you want to do slash slash paradox or whatever your name is. Uh I forgot we actually make this static. Alright, so now in Minecraft we're gonna do paradox dot start client. Now we are gonna scroll down a little bit till you find Minecraft 1.8. Right here, we're gonna replace it all with loading paradox client. All right, so now still inside of the Minecraft class, we need to look for ke equals equals one, and it'll bring us down to here. So we're gonna come up right before it and do slash slash paradox and do paradox.modulemanager.onkey. Oh, no, nope. on key k. So now we initiated that function, we just gotta do the other two functions real quick. So we're gonna open up, oh, oh, okay, so I forgot to say, in order to open up this menu, you gotta press Control shift r My apologies, I forgot about that. So in here we need to open up entity player sp, and we're gonna look for on living update. So right here, we're gonna do slash slash paradox, of course. Then we're gonna do paradox, oh my lord, paradox.modulemanager.onUpdate. All right, now we need to open up the entity renderer. And inside of this class, we need to look for the, oh, sorry. We need to find, in quotes, hand, which will bring us here. So in here, we're gonna do slash slash paradox and then we're gonna do paradox dot module manager dot on renderer all right so that is it for the modularity system we can actually start making mods now if we want so i'm just gonna make one real quick so i can show you guys so we're gonna come over to module we're gonna right click make a new package in here name movement so this will be where we put all of our movement modules. I'm only gonna demonstrate one module for this video. I'll go into a lot more in the next video, but for now we're just gonna do this. So let's do sprint. I am gonna name it auto sprint just cause that's how I like to do it. But whenever you name it and whenever you make a new module right after where it says public class, the module name, you need to put extends module and then press control shift O and it will import our module class. Then we need to hover over and add the constructor. So we're just gonna delete that. We're gonna delete everything in here and right here. So first off, we're gonna put the name of the module. So I'm gonna do auto sprint. Next, we need to add a key bind. So we're gonna type keyboard dot key underscore let's just for the purpose of the video i'll do f and then we're going to do category dot movement all right so here we're going to do public void on enable if this module is toggled we're going to set mc dot the player dot set sprinting as true we need to add super dot on enable we're gonna go down a little and then do mod public void on disable mc dot the player dot set sprinting false and then super dot on disable all right so now that we made a module we need to go into our module manager and add it so we're gonna do new mod new auto sprint and then add parentheses now it will highlight it will be blue and you got to import the class 
and we're actually going to come up here and replace that with a star that way any modules we add to the movement package automatically get imported so let's test it out now so we got to launch minecraft Just let it load but as you can see i changed this to says loading paradox client and then when we load in it says paradox 1.8.8 .8 build one by game Roy for life let's just load into a world real quick all right now i'm just pressing w to walk but if i press f and then oh yep there we go now it's working yeah i was being real hesitant so when you're walking, if you press F and then just hold W, it will sprint. So yeah, that's auto sprint for you. Uh, it's not the best way to do it, but that was just a simple way. I will show a new version probably in the next video, honestly. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what type of mods you would like me to add in the next video, and I'll make sure to respond and do as many as I possibly am able to. Till then, peace out.